You've got to find a disciplined lane to be able to stay in, regardless of the exterior factors, you know, and, and stay disciplined to the process. Go press the hip, man. Go it's no magic of, hey, if you just do this, that's what the process will be. You know, no, it's mundane things of what the day looks like and just being a little bit better than you were the day before, but just maximizing what, how you're doing those things. If I try to maximize who I am every day, all the other stuff will come with it, as opposed to just the competitive excellence of when my number's called, I gotta be really good. Like, we're more about that process-based improvement every day because that builds lasting success. Hands and feet. Yeah. Success doesn't look like That's ESPN it. highlights. It looks like like regular, ordinary clothes early in the morning and late at night and treating people the right way. And then it's the effort that you put into those little things, and then you tie that up, and that's what the process is. It needs to be repeated each day. You've got to find a disciplined lane to be able to stay in, regardless of the exterior factors, you know, and, and stay disciplined to the process. Well, I think the success is when you do what you have to do, the way you have to do it, and you enjoy it. And if you can get two to four to six to eight to 10 to 12 people doing it that way, that's gonna create a energy within that room or within that activity that I think you're constantly trying to find and strive for. Hey, two guys up, listen. Hey, the ball is running. Go press it from the front to the back. Press it with great angles, great speed. Let's go, you two, go hit it. Go hit it. Good, up here, press it, press it, press it. That a boy, good, Flat. good. I have fun when I truly see the players and coaches around me investing everything they have and then reaping the rewards. Like, that's what gets me excited. The weight on your insteps so you can move. You know what I mean? Watch out. Good job, Kev, good job, Kev. I like to be detailed, I like to be urgent, you know what I mean? I like to coach with an amount of energy because I think your players feed off of that. Those players are gonna be a product of how you treat them, how you coach them, how you react to things, so I think that's, that's just how I am. Good, stay on, stay on, Fernando, stay strong, go! I wanna have a group that's ball, extremely team-oriented, you know, very much into each other more than themselves, because the investment becomes that much more real. Individual recognition comes with team success, and to try to help instill that, because listen, when you feel tied into others, I think it allows you to go above and beyond what you think your own limits are. This is the first time in all of our guys, except for one or two guys in our football team, that have had the same system back-to-back -back years. They've had to learn system after system after system, which has slowed their personal development down because they've been focusing on the scheme, right, not the actual fundamentals. This is year two. If you don't take the right first step, you're probably not gonna be on the field. So the adversity changes from the, the scheme growth to the peer fundamental growth. Film at your target. How about that? Boom. I match. There it is. Good. Because if the quarterback sees it, three over two, he's going to get over here quick. Front hit to your target. I love it. I love it. Coach Dillingham specifically, it. he's a really good guy. He cares. Like, he actually cares about us and coaches us hard. But at the end of the day, like, he loves us and he just wants us to get better. Jordan's had a remarkable growth in the last 14 months. And something that he's done a, a phenomenal job of is one, protecting himself, uh, 
utilizing protections to his advantage and not just saying my legs are gonna set me free. And then at the same token, he's starting to understand timing and, and throws a lot better now. And he's starting to understand when the ball should be Three out. Push. Look, we got in the scrimmage. Two, three, ball. Good, next up, rapid fire. I want you to practice. Boom, boom. Be violent on your back foot. I just so try to go exactly and think of every day, like one day at a time. So like, I don't really think about the next day you're, because football is a stressful good. sport at the end of the day. And I feel like I just try to give myself confidence and try to tell myself that I'm talented at this and that because I was going through this times before where I was struggling and I didn't believe that. And because I was hearing all that outside noise and this and that because that's how it is in college football. You start hearing that no matter what. But now where I'm at, I just have confidence. Just going every day, just staying humble and confident and just going out to be my best. That's what our scheme's about. Playing as fast as possible, getting in the right numbers, utilizing that's formation number versatility, right? To great numbers that leverage and great grass ball. offensively, right? And then at the same token, finding our best guys to win one-on-ones, our playmakers, and getting them the ball. And if there's man-to-man -man and we have to bring a hitch to make our feet right, we understand that that's built into press man coverage, right? But for us, it's all about our feet and eyes. The energy is crazy. It's like, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It's like a family, like, fighting and just trying to get everybody better, and it's just so competitive. He's got a ton of energy, and uh, when he has a ton of energy, you know, all of us quarterbacks, it, it, it goes on to us. When he's upbeat at practice, when we're like, we're like, oh man, we don't want to really be here right now, man, it helps us want to go out there and practice, because if he's doing it, we can do it. We want our guys addicted to doing things right, and they're so addicted to it that it's fun for them. That's the environment we're trying to create. So fun is 100% alive, and I want our guys flying around having fun. We're all getting better each day. Jordan make a great play, and then Tate will make a great play, and then I'll make a good play, you know? So I think it's helping elevate us as a room and elevate us as an offense, you know, just that competition. Off the field, we're all, like, best of friends, probably. But on the field, it's always, as you would, like, think, we're all competing as hard as we can, just making each other better. You've got to be a guy who people follow. You've got to be a guy who is like this, right? And when good things happen, be happy. When bad things happen, you gotta motivate people to get ready to roll. And when people look at you, they say, man, he's got us, right? You gotta look at the quarterback and say, man, that's our guy. We're scoring. UCF, four for six on third down. Milton sprinting out. Ooh, he's cut down at the 25. Ooh, Milton is down on the field, and that doesn't look good. I knew it was bad immediately, just kind of looking at it, and all the trainers and doctors coming off the sideline on both sides, and, you know, just, like I say, you never expect to be in that situation, playing ball, but you also know it's part of it. We're just up. Hey, go on, go again. I had surgery that night, I got hurt. I woke up with rods sticking about a foot long through my leg. This injury results in nine knee surgeries total. I guess the odds, if you say, is like winning the lottery, I guess. But, you know, for me, it's just I took it a day at a time, but also pushing the envelope to, to try and get better at each day and just knowing over time I'd have the chance. And that's really all I ever asked for, you know, just kind of being under recruited. You know, I just wanted a chance to go play Division I football, and I got that chance at UCF. And, you know, now I have a, a second chance to, to play college football again at one of the most prestigious universities in the country. It just kind of put things in perspective for me, you know, just from one day being able to run, jump, cut, you know, be a world-class athlete really just on the football field to not being able to do anything. I'm grateful every day I'm out there because I know what, what it could have been. It was a very humbling experience and, you know, now I'll, I'll never take it for granted again. And it's not to say I did, but there would be days where, like, man, kind of going through the motions, but I don't, I don't think you'll ever see that from me, ever. Everybody in America wants Florida State to be 
Florida State. And you have an opportunity here to be around what I think is one of the best coaching staffs in college football with people who actually care. So if you think you can win one-on-ones, right, here's your opportunity. If you want to play an iconic program, here it is. You can reap the benefits of it. I was the glass. I was the group of people who chose to bring it back. And to me, that's more special than anything you can do. And if you can do that living in a great town, if you can do that around great people who are generally gonna care for you, and if you can do that and have the individual success that you wanna have in a system that's gonna be built for whatever talent you have, why not?